Hello and welcome back to Fix It In Post. It's been a very long time and I've been on a very long hiatus, mostly because I've just been too busy or lazy, however you want to see it. But um, I'm back with another tutorial on basically how to mix audio in Premiere, which is something that was a bit of a mystery when I started, but um, you know I've learned a few tricks and tips since then, so I just want to share this stuff with you. I've got this clip from a, a short uh, show that I'm doing on another channel called Kootoons. Uh, you can link to it in, this, in the description below or just in this link here. Basically, it's about robots in the future and how they've taken over the world and uh, humans are their pets. Uh, it's a comedy. Anyway, so here's the clip. Do you ever think about how insignificant our lives are? There are 30 billion sentient life forms on Earth, and in our solar system we are one of eight planets, orbiting a sun that is 1.3 million times larger than the Earth. Okay, so we've got the audio here on the track, and um, if you kind of look at the meters on the right here, it only kind of peaks at about minus 21. So it's not, it's not very loud. So there are a couple of things you could do. I guess if you wanted to, you, what you could do is you could push the level up here manually like this. So you can see it goes up to like maximum of six. Do you ever think about how insignificant our lives are? There are 30 billion sentient life forms in it. Which is fine, but it doesn't quite get, I wanted to really push to the top. And so that's the problem. Like how do you get higher than, you know, the 60 Bs? Cause I thought that was kind of disappointing that you can't really push through that ceiling of 60 Bs. I mean, you can put more gain in here, I think. Um, from what I recall, there's like, you know, you can put more channel volume on and you can actually push the levels up even more. Like, I think you can do this multiple times. You know, you can put another and you can, you can really push it up all the way. But I wanna show you a better way. Um, we'll get rid of these, because this is not what you need to make this work. Right, let's just let's just try again. I'm gonna remove all this again, and let's try again. So, a much easier way to do this is to basically take, go on the clip, and you can see that here. Just as something you got to observe is that the waveforms are all quite low. Like they're all kind of relatively the same level. There's a few peaks here, but they're relatively the same level. If this wouldn't work if there was a massive spike here, and then this is all small. It has to be kind of relatively even. But I'll show you how to fix that in a sec. Go to audio again, go normalize all peaks. And let's say we want it to sit at about minus four to peak out the highest peak we want to be is at minus four. Let's type in minus four and voila, you can see all the waveforms jump up to, and I would say this is the highest point. It's probably sitting at about minus four. Well, it's actually sitting about minus five, but we'll just say that that's the peak. Somewhere around there, it'll, it peaks out around minus four. And as you can already hear, it sounds a lot, a lot, uh, louder. Do you ever think about how insignificant our lives are? There are 30 billion sentient life forms on Earth, and in our solar system we are one of eight planets, orbiting a sun that is 1.3 million times larger than the Earth. Now, that's pretty cool, but um, another thing that's really useful is to actually throw a compressor on top of this uh, to kind of really punch out the sound. So, what you can do here is go to your, not audio clip mixer, go to audio track mixer. If you can't find out where that is, just go here. You'll be able to find uh, audio track mixer and then just look for the track. So there you go. Um, it's, it's dependent on what sequence you're on. So this one is, uh, this audio track mixer is for this particular sequence. So um, if you go up here, what there's a whole bunch of stuff. You basically can access all the effects, the, all the audio effects uh, in your library here and but what's really great about this is that you can actually throw the effects over the top of everything like a blanket kind of uh, effect one thing to note though is that in this window here each of these columns um, refers to a track on the timeline so if you put an effect on this first column it refers to a1 which is the a1 line on your timeline uh, and likewise, A2, A3, and then if you want to put a uh, effect on every track, you can put it on the master, and you know whatever effect you put on there will basically affect everything on that timeline as a group. Um, we're going to get a multi-band compressor, and we'll just double-click on that. And um, now broadcast actually isn't already bad. That's already a compressor. That's already sort of a default. And I'll let you. I'll play that. Do you ever think about how insignificant our lives are? There are 
30 billion sentient life forms on Earth, and in our solar system we are one of eight planets, orbiting a sun that is 1.3 million times larger than the Earth. Now that already sounds quite good, but I wanted to push out even more, and one of my favorite ones is Popmaster. So let's try that, give it a second. Uh, do you ever think about how insignificant our lives are? There are 30 billion sentient life forms on Earth, and in our solar system we are one of eight planets, orbiting a sun that is 1.3 million times larger than the Earth. Now that's really, really punchy. Um, so that's what I like to use normally for things like Vox Pops and um, you know general interviews to kind of really um, get the sound to really stick out. Now, I'll give you another scenario for what you can do. So say for example, you can see here, this is the highest peak. So when you clicked on that button before where you said normalize all peaks to minus four, which is what we did, um, what, it, what it actually does, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's say when we when what we actually what it actually does is it looks for the highest peak and says okay that peak which is I think is there or maybe there um, is going the highest point will not go any higher than minus four dBs um, but that's a problem if you've got stuff that's at the very low end so for example here this is where it gets very low. So you want say for example you wanted this section to go up a bit more and you wanted to kind of sit more where the minus four level was, or even minus, you know, minus eight, which would be even better. So what you can do is I generally take, just say the, the slightly, let's zoom in a bit here, the slightly softer sections and I cut here and then I go audio gain and let's push it up to minus four. And so that'll actually raise everything to minus four. I actually think that's too much. It, it'll sound really, really unnatural. So let's say minus eight. 30 billion sentient life forms on Earth, and in our soul. It sounds pretty unnatural, but hopefully you get the idea. I think to kind of make it sound natural, probably have to go back to minus 12. Billion sentient life forms on Earth, and it that sounds a bit more natural. So, uh, do you ever think about how insignificant our lives are? There are 30 billion sentient life forms on Earth, and in our solar system, we are one of eight planets, orbiting a sun that is 1.3 million times larger than the Earth. And um, that's basically it. This is basically how I do most of my sound mixing in uh, Premiere. It's it's pretty straightforward. I'm not a sound mixer. I mean, if you want to get really good quality mixes, I mean, go to a professional sound guy. But if you're on the run, if you're a run and gun kind of guy like me, you got to produce stuff every day. This is a great way to just mix your vox pops with some music underneath, and it sits really well with music too because it really punches out your vocals over the top of your music. Um, obviously keep your music to maybe about minus 16 or minus 15 depending on how loud it is and um, and just mix to your taste uh, and I think this will work really well with everything that you do anyway um, I'll be doing more tutorials in the future I promise and uh, I promise it won't be too long between tutorials and I'll try to keep them quite regular um, in the meantime just leave a comment below if there's anything else that I missed out or if there's something you would like me to uh, you know try and figure out for you and uh, we'll put it in the next tutorial Okay, I'll see you next time. Uh, do you ever think about how insignificant our lives are? There are 30 billion sentient life forms on Earth, and in our solar system we are one of eight planets, orbiting a sun that is 1.3 million times larger than the Earth. I am just a scrap of metal, floating on a giant rock through an endless void. Are you right there? Huh? You can't help yourself, can you? Oh, uh, I thought it was someone I knew.